What's up guys, as you can see from the title of this video, I have made the decision to compete again. So I've competed twice before, back in 2014, 2018, now it's 2022, so there is a four year pattern there, but for the past couple of months, I just haven't been able to get it out of my head that I wanted to compete again, to the point where I was checking competition dates every single night. So I've made the conscious decision to compete again, and the competition is in November, and there will be a 16 week prep. But this time is a different prep to the, to the two previous ones. My mindset is different. The first prep, my mindset was, I was doing it for the experience. The second one, my mindset was, oh, as long as I'm better than I was the first time. But thinking back, it was they were just excuses to fall back on because if I didn't win, I could just say that. But the truth is, I just didn't believe that I could win. So that's why I was saying those things. I didn't believe that I could potentially win. This time it's different. My mindset is different. I want to achieve something in, com in competing. And that's a driving force in why I'm doing this. I want to get out of competing. I have no long-term long -term goals in it, but I cannot get myself out of it until I've achieved something. I've competed twice before. I've never made top three. I want to get out of it, but I want to get out of it with an achievement. And that's what I'm going to do this time. So I have acquired a coach for this. Um, he is Mr. Joe Brightman. He is an IFBB pro. He won his pro card competing in men's physique, but he's transcended into classic physique now. Both classes that I'm thinking of doing, I just, I'm just undecided on which one to go. Uh, we'll just see how this prep goes, how I'm looking, and of course I'll listen on what he thinks as well. Um, but I've competed in men's physique twice now. It might be, might be a time for change but we'll see we'll see how it goes but i'm excited guys i'm excited to have you guys follow me on this journey as well because i will be uploading a video every single week so if you're excited then hit that like button now which will mean that you that you have my back and you're showing me some support as well and if you're not subscribed then get subscribing and click that little bell button so you're notified every time i upload a video i'll be showing you my nutrition my training the high days the low days Hopefully I'll be going to other places to train. Yeah, so the next 16 weeks is going to be one heck of a journey and I'm going to put everything into it because I am going to get out of competing with an achievement. Okay, so let's talk about the nutrition on this prep. So starting calories is 2,600, and then on my training days, it'll go down to 2,300. So I'll be doing a flexible dieting approach just at the beginning of this prep, and then as we dwell deeper into it, I'll then go into a more strict diet plan. So I'm about to have my first meal now, which is a fruit protein smoothie. Just have some banana, spinach, tropical fruit, and whey protein in it. Then I'll drink that. Then we'll go over to the gym and then I'll talk about the training on this prep. Mm. Seriously, you need to try the smoothie. Before we head over to the gym, if you follow me on Instagram or if you've watched some of my previous videos, you may recall that I've been working on my very own pre-workout for the past 12 months. Well, I'm happy to let you know that the formula is finally ready. I'm happy with the taste, I'm happy with the performance, and I've just given the go-ahead for it to go into production. A few people have been asking me what's the name of the product. Well, I'm exclusively going to reveal it right now on this channel, so watch this. And there you go, there's the pre-workout that I've been working on for so, so long, and I cannot wait for you guys to try it. So it's gone into production now, labels are currently being printed. As you may have noticed, it has a very manga slash superhero vibe to it, and there's an actual character involved in the, in the product itself, which you'll see develop 
from its launch. I'll talk a bit more about it when it actually launches, but until then, let's get into Monday's push session. Do you believe me? Do you believe me that I'm a lonely soul? Would you love me? Mm. I've been searching, always wanted more. Can you hear me? Mm. Do you believe me that I'm a lonely soul? Would you love me? Mm. I've been searching. So I was 120 on the shoulder press, so I need to do three sets of between 10 and 12 reps. That was 12 reps. Last one was a struggle, so I'll stick to this weight for the three sets. Okay, so that's the first workout of prep done. So it was a good workout, but I feel like because I was filming, I took away the intensity from it because I was too busy setting up the camera and I was using a hip thrust bench to balance my camera. And so I really need a, a videographer or just somebody to, to hold onto the camera whilst I work out. But yeah, it took away the intensity, but it was a good workout. If I didn't, if I wasn't filming, it would have been a class workout. So I kind of look forward to doing that push workout without having to film. So that was push day one of my training split. And just to make some sense out of my sets and reps, when I say building sets, those are just warm up sets. And then I usually do another set, which is about 50% of my max load. And then I do working sets, which are usually my top set and my back offset. So top set is my max load, so top effort. And then back offset is usually around 75% of my max load. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, nothing unusual about my training split on this prep. It's just a push, pull, legs, push, pull, split. But Joe has put exercises in there that I've never done before. So I kind of feel like a beginner again, but, it, but it's kind of exciting and it feels good to have DOMS again. I haven't, I haven't experienced DOMS in so long. So I'm currently on day five of prep now and I'm really, really sore. So I'm excited to see the changes that this new style of training will do to my physique. Okay, so I'm in the storeroom of my gym. So I guess what's left to do now is to show you my starting point. So as you can see, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, but we have 16 weeks to do it. And I cannot wait to put in the work and see what the end results are. And hopefully I'll have you guys supporting me all the way through this prep up until show day in November. So I'm gonna end the video right here. It was more of an announcement video just to tell you guys that I am competing and I'm now in competition prep. And hopefully by the end of this series, it will have inspired one of you guys 
that with the right mindset, the right work ethic, the right vision, that you guys can achieve anything with the right mentality. Any goal can be achieved. All you need to do is just believe in yourself. Believe with all your mind.